So, welcome back to the next season. Today, what we're going to be playing, well, for the next while, uh, starting spring, apparently. So, um, City Skylines, you guys voted. Uh, there was 10 votes on the community tab. So, uh, again, if you're not familiar with the system that I have, every season I create a poll on the community tab of YouTube, and then I let you guys choose which game you want done out of um, the year selection that I've done. So whatever first two games get will be in the next year, the ones that are after. Um, the third one always has the chance of getting added in the next year, and then there's the last one which will be delayed for at least two years. So uh, with that being said, uh, we'll definitely be playing this next year as well. So we'll go ahead and start a brand new game. There's no mods installed whatsoever, so we can not worry about any updates or anything like that. Uh, last time I tried playing the game, I ran into a bunch of issues with the um, mods because they were pushing out so many updates. I mean, all these maps down here are just like stuff that they added and stuff like that. But uh, let's see if we can't find something that is uh, by theme. Maybe we can find something that's um, North American or something like that. Not sure what that would be. Probably, uh, where does it say it even? I haven't played this game in so long. Uh, let's see here, European. So let's see if we can't find, okay, so somewhere around here, I guess. So seven lakes is an option. That looks like a challenging one. Uh, gray waters, ooh, that actually looks pretty cool. Um, we could probably do something really cool with that, I think. Uh, there's, uh, boat connections, rail connections, there's also a pretty good amount of ore, and road connections and air connections, so it has everything. Uh, suitable land for building is 56%, and we can choose nothing for a theme, so that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and um, create something here. We'll call it um, Treeville. And we'll start our brand new city. So we'll get started and I'll cut into a time lapse like usual and then I'll start building the city a little bit. And then I'll cut back into um, explaining what I've done and then we'll repeat that process a couple times and then we'll probably end the video. So just need to wait for the loading.
people are finally arriving um, on these little dirt roads that we have at the moment. Uh, but it's always good to start with dirt roads because then you can always upgrade them later. Um, but yeah, so we got a huge residential area started and there's a little bit of commercial in mixed in here. And we also got a pretty hefty industry area going on uh, around here as well. So uh, we're all... Next thing that we need to actually do is either decide on healthcare or education. Um, we'll probably go with healthcare because that's kind of like a really primary re thing that you need. Um, okay, so this one is, I can't remember if there's, there's two different styles. It doesn't look like either of these have any pro con, probably just the size of the place. This one's more square where this one's a little bit bigger. Um, let's see, uh, we'll probably put it over in the residential slash commercial area, so probably around here somewhere. Uh, we could probably, is there any limit on how much per week? No, they're both 400. Both cost 10,000. Both still the same electricity. And same patient capacity, so I'll take the smaller one, I think. Um, just because then it will leave a little bit of a place open for other people to park and stuff. And let's see here, we'll probably put in a school right at the end of this road here, I think. So that will be good. It's just an elementary school, but it will be good to get them started. And I'm going to also increase the taxes from 9% to... Well, we, we want residential, so I'll increase taxes for industrial and um, commercial. Hopefully that will lower the debt a little bit. I mean, we're slowly climbing up with uh, profit, so eventually we'll make it into the green. Could try to bring this up a little bit more. Okay, we'll leave it at 12% and see if we can't get that to work. We're all, we only have like $53 in negative, so it's not that bad. Um, I'm not sure if that's per hour or per day. Okay, now we're making money, so four, four, $4, $29. Okay, that would be good for now. All right, it'll slow down the process of building, but it will allow us to um, make a little bit of money.
our settlement or you know actual city is not doing that good there we have a whole bunch of people without power right now and it's going to just get worse and i was just upgrading the streets too i might have had enough money to plop down another building but i don't so uh, I'm going to use a little tactic that I learned from uh, Biffa, which is really big on the City Skylines community and stuff like that. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the tax tab and just increase taxes for a couple couple minutes. Well, probably under a minute. And what that's going to do is it's going to get us enough money to place down another power plant over here somewhere. And... That should allow us to hopefully get out of that situation. Um, they'll go ahead and get a little bit complainy, but we can speed this up a little bit. Apparently power's fine now, but taxes are going to be high. So we'll just wait until it gets to a reasonable amount, and then we'll go ahead and turn it down back to 12%. We just need to keep an eye on any red icons. When it turns red, then we need to make sure that we disable it. But, okay, so first few red ones, we can pause the game and go ahead and turn down the tax. So we've got 27,000, so we might be able to get some other things. So we'll bring it down to 12%. The more reasonable amount. And that should make everyone happy. Okay, and then we got a little bit more money to build at least a power station. So I'm going to put that in... Ooh, I'm not sure if that will... Yeah, we'll put that there, and then we'll move this like that. And that should give us enough power to get the um, situation under control. So, it's just a coal power plant, but at least it's something. And I put a high school in over here, and a fire station, or well, a firehouse, and the police station over here as well. And I plopped down some parks as well um, before I realized that we're running low on power <laughs> uh there was a dog park um garden over here and i think i plopped down a couple extra ones i'm not sure where i put them though there was oh yeah there was that small park and I swear i stuck one in the yeah another japanese garden over here so enough gardens for everyone pretty much hopefully <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. And level up, they said there was something leveling up, so I don't know if this was it. Somewhere around here there was a level up. So we should start seeing some buildings start.
pretty happy with today's progress. We got a bustling um, industrial uh, industry. Well, sort of an industry. It's just a district area. And then we got our commercial area, which is consists of mostly this area. So we got a lot of that. And then we got a whole bunch of residential in. Plus, I just finished building a very basic um, forestry area industry. So we'll have um, the forestry main building. We have one small tree plantation and a logging yard as well as a sawmill and something to store the planks in for export. So we'll be able to uh, distribute it for however we want. I think we could actually even, because it's technically you can't import it so I think what we'll do is we'll just basically empty it and that will allow us to make a little bit more money even so outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe we'll be continuing this uh, next episode and we'll hopefully expand our uh, our city a little bit more into the forest area maybe we'll go that way I don't know we'll decide what, what direction what we want to go with um, if we go this way then we'll have that much over there but who knows? Anyhow, if you're new to my channel, again, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.